right, so let's all right, let's transition to something else. Okay. What goes into <laughs> That's fine. What goes into what's the <laughs> More what goes into questions. I hope my nah, boy Kwan watched this what's podcast. What's a good standard bro. for what makes Kwan weed no good? Recipe. What's the standard? Like, what's some basic standards that goes into good it's weed? It's a good question. He's a he's a weed. I like this question. I like that's, this question. That's a good question. <laughs> I think it's like uh, texture, taste, and potency. Okay. I think I think that's the the basics. So, what kind of texture were you looking for? I think. That's all on the individual, but me personally, I think in this current era of like really high grade weed, I prefer my weed to be a little softer. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like a little fluffy, fluffy for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah, like no, no hard weed. Hard weed is almost never good unless it's like it's like some OGs that you could get. Like sometimes, like like um. Y'all smoke GMO? I no. love GMO. Yeah. No. You said no? Yeah, I don't. I love GMO. Love GMO. I stay away from GMO. GMO. I probably had it like once or twice, but I don't like it. Or, I'm just a paranoid like, nigga just because like, I know the history of where like GMO came from. I'm not saying it's the same strain. But it stands for garlic, mushroom, onion. And onions, yeah. That's but what it stands I've for. I've learned a different thing. I learned a different thing. He's he bugging out. It's, nah. We said we weren't going to talk about conspiracies during this one, I, man. Hey, let's see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> listen, it's the, I'm not going to lie. No, it's the no, same no, reason no, why I don't smoke green crack kush. That's fair. I don't like smoking anything called crack. I mean, I mean, that is fair. I have smoked it, but I get it. I don't select it when, they, when the menu gets sent. I don't select it. You're right. You're right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna volunteer. To smoke crack but the like point you. is, it's like, like I'm, 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 I'm a, I'm a Zod dude. So I, I prefer, prefer exotics these days. But you know, like a great OG, nothing is better than a great OG. Honestly, okay. like some garlic Z. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you might get something like that kind of hard, but other than that, you know, taste, right. texture, and, and potency. Big nugs versus small nugs. Small nugs is your OGs, and that, and then unless you a sativa smoker, because I'm not really more indica type dude. Your indica dude? Yeah, definitely. Are Very. hybrids fucking up the game? No. No. If anything, they enhancing it. Like runs is a hybrid. That's a you know fact. what I'm saying? Like yeah. uh, gumbo is a hybrid. You know what I'm saying? Like so, yeah. Some of your best, best, your top, your top tier strains of the last seven years have been oh, hybrids. hybrids. <clears throat> right? Hybrids are gas. The only thing is, I never know what I get because if usually leaning more way one way to another. So I could smoke like if I smoke a lot of runts, I'm gonna get more of an indica feel myself. Mm -hmm. I I chill. But then there are other hybrids I smoke that sativa really kick in, and that, and it's more potent on a. It seems like it's more potent on a hybrid than it would be a traditional sativa. You get what I'm saying? Like the paranoia I get from having like a hybrid smoke, will fuck me up, and the calm I get from it will put me the fuck out. Like you know what I mean? But you don't know what you're getting. Yeah, kind yeah. of. It sounds like <laughs> sounds like crack. Sounds like fentanyl. Sounds like fentanyl. Sounds, like fentanyl. <laughs> sounds like the front lines, man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the front lines is everywhere. Front lines. What? Front what lines. Does Everybody the front lines on the front mean? lines, man. What, does, what is the meaning of the front line? <clears throat> you want to take that? What's the meaning of the front lines? Nah, I think I think you should take it, and I'll just. Meaning and Jump intentions. off your, your answers because I, he's the creator. He he wrote the front lines. Yeah, but, like, but what, you spent like, so much was time on the theme? front lines. Go ahead. You, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, already saying. Like, yeah, I got When, yeah, yeah, when like, we refer to be... the front lines, what exactly nah, are we referring to? The he... front lines. We're referring to the trenches. We're referring to, and and <laughs> we're referring to the trenches. I mean, the front lines. Season one specifically is about Hartford. So, I mean, it's certain parts of the city that the impact of those little small sections of the city, you know, reverberate. Is that the right word? Re yeah, reverberate. Reverberate oh throughout the God. whole city. Yeah, I know I was... Not, I check not humility, yeah, humbleness. Yeah. This <laughs> 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 podcast is about humbleness. Yeah. Nah, not humility. I don't not, never fucking forget. I mean, no, no humbleness on this podcast yeah. is what he said. Yeah, no humbleness. <laughs> I said humility. Yeah. No. Nah, but certain, certain no sections of the city, you know so, what I'm saying? 
reverberate throughout the whole city. I know I said that word wrong again, but what it's does okay. it mean? No, you caught it. What does it mean? And it's like certain people. What does what mean? Reverberate. Oh man. Like <laughs> now we get. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let him finish what he's okay, saying. All right. Re- reverberate means I what it means. I just thought he would help me understand what he said better. <laughs> Oh, you get it? Like, use the context I'm clues, bro. Like, I'm trying to. All right, I'm going to use my context clues. He's okay. What he's put saying is... Put whatever word you want to put in that shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's saying... All I heard is reverb. Things uh, that happen here... Yeah. So you know what reverb means. <laughs> yeah. Things yeah. that happen here bounce off and affect okay, yeah, everything. Yeah, and affect impact. I yeah, figured that's what it meant. Just off reverb. Okay. Right? <laughs> he's like, impact, impact, right? Nigga, this is certain a hard word. Certain parts of the neighborhood. Certain parts of the city. I know what it means. Yeah, it's okay. Context clues is very important. Context is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So certain... Context clues. Yeah, certain parts of the city impact everybody. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's like, you know, we brought up Park Street earlier. Whether it's, you know, Albany and Garden. You know, whether it's just certain parts of the city. You know, those are the front lines. Then you got the people that fight the 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 on the other side of the front lines. Mm. That's the front lines. Okay, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm just thinking about, like, where... Um, the episodes has been like yeah i've had um showing people actually doing using the needles on there but on the flip side you showed about the people who are going on exchanging them for clean right, needles as right, well right, too. right no it's, it's it's a war going on outside and the words of prodigy rest in peace it's a war going on it outside really is. for real what Th- is something, that's the first episode what is something that, uh, that was a wild episode honestly yeah what is something that you've learned <laughs> about doing the whole project overall man i learned that this shit is motherfucking to me for me it, it, it I, I realized how it's not just Hartford like I, I love Hartford I loved Hartford before doing the front lines but it's it's a new appreciation for Hartford Did like, that make you see Hartford a different absolutely, good or bad absolutely um I would say is 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 good and bad that's what I'm saying. It's good and bad. Because you can't put one or yeah, it has it's good to be and both. bad. It Honestly, be both. it has to be good and bad because I see how connected the city is, and I see how disconnected the, the city, city is, is also. You feel me? So you see both sides. Same blade, different edges. Like in this, in the yeah. That's hard. Yeah, that's for real. Terrible. Jamaicans be talking. Terrible. <laughs> no, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's, a that's why I love this dude, man. That's why I love this dude, man. That's why I got a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a, yeah, no, that's a fact. That, plug that. Plug that. Yeah. yeah. Is it called same blade, different edges? <laughs> It should. Be it should be. It yeah, should be. I might, I might like volume two. I am actually come out with a third book. It should be. Volume three. Yeah. Volume three. Shit. Yeah, I actually have like two more books in my head right now, but continue. Yeah, nah, That's man. Um, I forgot where I was. Who was <laughs> you got to ask another. I, yeah, I think <laughs> no, I answered the question. Nah, no, you, you, no, I'm talking you, about how it makes you, you see hard for it in a good or bad way. Oh, yeah, what did I learn? Yeah. Also, also, I learned that, um, man, black people got to get it together. In what ways would you? From what what ways do you black think we people, have to prioritize especially first? Because I'm black, so when I go home, I look at my family, and that's what I mean. Like my family, like the whole community has to get it together. And what does together look like? From doing this, what does your definition of together look like now? Caring, like putting the effort towards actually caring. Like it's an action. You know what I'm saying? Like it's really people say they care, but they don't show the action behind caring. You know what I'm saying? I like people you. say they care about Hartford, but you know. People so, on the street yeah. could be like, "Yo, y'all don't really care because they don't. Do you know they don't really show up? You know what I'm saying? So if, if I'm on, if I'm walking on Albany Avenue right now, but then, but then, hold on, but then let me let me be fair because then it's the front lines, like you said. What is the front lines? Also, there's people that do show up. There's people that do show up that are on the front lines. Yes, yes, every like day. The, like we this said, the person is not clean needle. Like they the have mothers, a whole program around that. Outside, yes, like yeah. the Mothers United Against Violence. You know what I'm saying? Like HCTC. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's people outside Howard every K. day. Hill Howard, Howard K. Hill? Yeah, yeah. What? Like you two. Greater Hartford Harm Reduction Coalition. Come on, man. Like, it's people outside Excuse of Hartford. Excuse me. I said Greater Hartford. Excuse me. Connecticut Harm there Reduction you go. Yeah. Alliance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to get it together. No, yeah. but I, stepped up during, <laughs> I love stuff like that and because I remember one time I'm over there by um, Barber Street and I'm just going around the neighborhood and I realized... Yo, there's so much buildings over here that's meant to help the community. They have like, they're like, I'm not a big fan of it, but I would say they have like a Planned Parenthood in in the neighborhood. They have, a, they have like two playgrounds over there. They have daycare facilities over there as well too. But we wouldn't think of that's the first place we go to bring our kids just because of the environment itself. 
just mm. because of the story it present for itself we, we mm. kind of don't feel safe going over there so we're not going to go play in the, the playgrounds over there. we're not going to have our kids go play in the playground even if this is broad daylight because we know things in Hartford you don't know what the fuck to expect so it's like how can we use what you guys are doing now to help create that safe environment for these places that's already there to help the community you project it I am a little bit. <laughs> is he? Is he? He's projecting? He, he felt it. He yeah. felt it. He, B. Davis just be um, saying projector. I do. I, do. I, do. I, do. I didn't catch that one. Yeah. Is he projecting? I was a little bit. Yeah? Projecting. I was a little bit. Because um, I know for a fact I wouldn't bring my kids over there to go play in the playground. Especially me now living in winter. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a really good yeah. question, though. Based just... We could give a political answer and say, no, nah, it's a good community. And I want a real nigga answer. Yeah. Like, niggas who grew up in the trenches, who see... We Wanna know say. that they're not bad people. We yeah. know they're not fucking... But they're business owners. Yeah. A lot of them are actually business owners. Not right. Nine to five workers, they're business owners. They, right. they they run their shit. And then when all that stuff happened in their neighborhood, it's kind of like um, being on OT, Oakland and Terrace. Mm -hmm. Those people, they own their own shit. They go to work. They want to, they just want to feel like they live in a safe community. But when everybody, like they have the after hours over there and you have everybody come over there and you have a stabbing or shooting over there, it makes them look bad now. It makes their neighborhood look bad now. Because now we don't want to go do business with them because their business office is located at their home, which has the address of something where stabbing happened two houses away from it. I think I think what what it takes and how the front lines can be used to help people understand that there's um, still good, not just a little good, but a lot of good in the interior. Like the trenches of the community is just by seeing and understanding the fact that the people you are seeing and watching that are doing this work and the things that we are describing, particularly like in episode four, five. Which one? Well, how okay? I think mm -hmm. four was yep. the base. Yep. Four was the base. Episode one. five yeah, that was the base. Yep. One. Right, like, and then five was to, yeah, to, that's the to, last, to, second to, to last one. To some degree, we touch on maybe not deeply enough the the systemic divestments that have happened in that particular community since you know for 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 for, for at least the last sixty five years. Yeah, it's just MLK died. Right, but but. Uh, I'm sure actually a lot longer. You know, once once yeah, yeah, once really white once it. white flight begins, mm -hmm. you know, no money comes back in. And you know, as we talk about in episode five, you see that there's uh buildings that were burnt out and still sitting there since after the day that Martin Luther King died. You got Lou Brown, legendary reporter. Like for us coming up here. <clears throat> young Lou Brown was like the face of black people in Hartford. And uh, he says that out of his own mouth, you know, the the day that Martin, you know what I'm saying? Like, so the day after Martin died. So, you know, what I'm saying is we just want people to understand. We You don't, you don't have to do anything but ask yourself the question yourself. What can I mm. do? Right. Mm. That's all we ask you to do. What can I do? When you see it, what does it make you feel? What are you compelled to do? Like because this is your community. Yeah, this because is what it looks like because it's it's systemic, systemic divestment, right? This is like this is the government through uh, redlining. Thank you, thank you, and a million other tactics, right? Mm -hmm. Redlining is the one we know the most about. Exactly. It's the one that's yeah. the most publicized in this era, but it didn't even have a name. It's no until... longer a conspiracy. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's right. It's that's one time was too. just a conspiracy. People thought zip codes, the fact that there um, was a zone, zone in something, um, mm -hmm. but they yeah. were literally used mm -hmm. to determine what had a good neighborhood. Right. Yeah. They had a map. That yeah. had, it was a color coordinated map and they based your vernacular was based on how good your neighborhood was. So, with those things in mind, right? When we think about that, that's what the front lines is, is provoking you to think about. You know, I mean, but you you could take away from it whatever you want to take away from it because some people are going to see uh, people in episode two and it, it'll it'll move them to want to help people and other people will want to. Do other stuff, you know, so whatever, facts. you know, you know, like, um, hopefully nobody want to use drugs. I'm hope, hope, hopefully seeing yeah, that. Don't, this don't ain't do that. The don't, don't do that. You don't want to do that. You said my, my guy drugs. had a thing here. What's your, what's your definition of drugs? 
Um, <clears throat> crack, heroin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. Know. You didn't say fentanyl though. I, that was my last one. <laughs> Why? Why did you first. say fentanyl last? It should have been first. Because crack is usually the first thing I say when it comes to drugs. Yeah. It's just a word. Now, fentanyl is probably the most used one in Hartford right now. It's probably the most used one across the uh, country at its point, but... Because from watching the docuseries, I learned a lot of people <laughs> from Norwich, they come out here for their fent. Yeah. And end up just staying out here. Um, <laughs> A lot of people from a lot of places. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not a prohibitionist, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't, like, I think people deserve their right to choice. If you can, so, you know, some, some people got different pain they need to numb right. different experiences and whatever. some people don't not everybody get addicted to certain drugs right away as well too there's some people who do heroin and they don't get addicted to somebody who do if it you for watch, the first time and get addicted you if you watch dr carl hart you know uh youtube carl hart uh professor with dreads or whatever i know you're talking about the dude yeah. you do heroin He's, he said he's, we he's to done the here word locks in the past. He does it. We he try to use the it. word locks over here. I apologize. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I try to consciously do that. I'm trying to just... Hey, bless up. I'm hey, trying, hey, just, hey, I'm trying hey, to incorporate bro. certain like that words in my vocabulary because... Yeah. Like, Hold up. <clears throat> I got the white people in my job calling them just locks. Yeah. <laughs> they wow. don't even say dreads no more. Yeah, because they locks. That's the white name for it, dreads. And it's interesting mm. because I, I got a... Uh, Oh, I didn't even get it. I was gonna talk about love real quick, <laughs> okay, okay. cause you know that's how love used to be, and he's not like that no more. <laughs> he's not. It's just... He a pork eater now? No, 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 sir. No, oh, he sir. just eat ham and don't think it's no, pork. No, he don't. He don't there's eat a lot of, of there's don't... a lot of rust that nah, eat he, ham no, and he, don't think it's pork. He won't. He won't eat none of that. He won't eat no, no, no. He won't touch a piece of meat. Never. No. Oh, he ate all. Yeah, he okay. don't touch a piece of meat. No, it's, it's just like, I'm just saying, like, he was like that. He Like, as far as, like, uh, terminology versus, like, locks versus yeah. dreads and, you know. I'm, yeah, you know. I'm just trying to incorporate, because I believe, I really do believe certain words are true curse words. And if we continue using them over and over, we're cursing ourselves. I like Through that. incantations. I like that. So I just try to change up how I look at certain things and just... Just based, like you said, I have to make the change within myself first before I can expect it from somebody else. Facts. So it's like, I actually, I got this from Future. Because Future's, con- I've realized he don't use the word nigga no more. He used niggas. Like, even when he makes his status and all of that, he he, he used the word niggas a little bit more. I got I gotta, I gotta <clears> listen. I don't know if he changed it. I was about to say, tonight, man, I, don't know yeah, if I think he he's still be saying niggas in his I, song. Oh, <laughs> I, I think but, you, Okay, songs, I don't know, but... but I you know, got stuck on Future's I know, but, interviews. No, no, when we speak, like, talking about in person, when we speak and stuff like yeah. that, it, like, I, I, songs I know is a little different. I almost, I can't speak for his Shots music. Shouts out to Future, though. Yeah, I can't speak for his music, but like I say, in terms of the nigger, but... Let's talk about Future. Future Allah, Future X. No, the rapper. <laughs> I mean, Which you know, like he goes future. by so many different names. He changes uh, his name all the fucking time. I ain't mean future X. I meant talking um, about future the rapper. I mean, they both rappers. Okay, I mean, Toxic future. Toxic future. Toxic future. Yeah, Toxic future. I, I feel like future is actually needed for the community. Me too. All right. There we I go. feel like he's a staple point in the community. I feel like yeah, we need of him. Wait, wait. It help identify who we are as a person. It brings. Oh, shit. What the fuck is you just saying? It do. <laughs> it's a reflection because you're either gonna see yourself in future or see yourself as see your, what you're not in future. But he that's is, honestly it. He is. He's a right? scale. He's, he's a scale. Like standard in a sense. <laughs> the standard. Yeah. Okay. Are yeah. you are, are you future level? <laughs> Let me ask you a question, right? If Yo, you had... You take all the rest of the questions. <laughs> <laughs> all the rest of the questions. <laughs> this shit got wild. It, it, it's about to get worse. <laughs> Trust me. It, it gets way worse. This is light. We've actually been very tame. this episode. She's talking to the mic. I am. That's why I got it right here. All right. That's why I got it right here. Remember? Yeah, <laughs> Go ahead. Say your shit. So, if you had the freedom that he has as a man mm-hmm. to move the way he does, would you not act the same way? <laughs> just look at me. He's I so- would say, I, you know, the way, like, do we answer this political? Like, what are we doing? Like, Listen, I'm gonna answer this. I'm gonna answer. This. My wife might kill me because she. I recently found out she really yeah, you, be listening. You're to a this family shit. man. What I know. You, what? I know. recently found out she really be. Of course, she listens to it. Sometimes. She listens to the future. I- no, no. Oh. she does. Oh, she does the podcast. Oh, oh, oh. she does in the future too. She heard, she heard it one time. She's like, "Oh, you were just thinking really sad." Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. She's like, yeah. "Why are you talking about me like that?" I'm yeah. like, "What?" Yeah. Like, what did she say? 
I was like, which one you was listening to? She told me exactly which one. Plus, I she love you. Of course, yeah, you know. that's, that's cool. Yeah. All right. But if, you know, if I had that kind of freedom, I would too. You just shrugged it off. <laughs> <laughs> <Content>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. You actually set me off because I was like, I was going, I was going to shrug when he shrugged off, and then you laughed. I was like, he just shrugged it off. <laughs> so, did you answer? No, <laughs> no, no. He asked something to say. He's about he to said say it. something. He said it. No, no. no he's about to say something about his it. wife. No, I, you missed it. Even though I have a wife, he said he would do. Oh, it. I still, oh, okay, I would okay, probably, okay, I would you, probably act that way if I had that type of freedom as a man too. But I don't because I'm married, so that's yeah. Just, I mean, as a as a family like man, I think that's the right answer. Right answer. Yeah. I was the wrong answer as a family man. You think so? I'm gonna hear about it if she hears this. She you goes, said, oh, if you, you, act, if you, you were act future, like future though, if you were future, she said, that's if, a big if. No, if like, he had the freedom of future. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, freedom of future. <laughs> <we're> future. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, freedom of future. If you had the freedom of future. Yeah, you and wouldn't you be don't. who you are. Yeah, and you don't. You saying? I'm not gonna lie. What you just said was. Babe, I love you. <laughs> I know I have no freedom. Lock yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. As a toxic, misogynistic so, man right now. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I said it. I'm, I have to start. I didn't watch enough episodes. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like, prep me for this. It's kind of like when they say, oh, I don't mean to be racist, but. Just <laughs> so you know it's gonna be bad. <laughs> It's like when somebody say I don't, it don't, I don't mean to come yeah, off racist, like, but no. um, <laughs> you had somebody say that to you before. I don't mean to come off racist. You I know, know the next thing they say. Yeah, I know all the rest racism. of the ones with people like I don't mean to be funny, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mean. You've had that happen before. I've had oh that shit! Happen. You had that happen before. Yeah, I've done that. I work with a lot of white. Where do y'all work? I was about to ask. I was about to ask. I went to school with white yeah. people and all that. Oh that shit! We, I did too. I've been around a lot. I of work for a place yeah. that sells shit for golf courses. So let's tell you how white. <laughs> wow, that's white white. Yeah, you said I'm with white white he people. Because I feel like yeah. he comes across people that look okay. like that. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> so I'm telling you, and I know. That's just so white. I know all the all this shit. So as a toxic misogynistic man, sometimes. And Sometimes. because people like to say men with podcastic are misogynistic and toxic, so I'm gonna give you the proof and the pudding for this one. Um, I feel like every man, if they had the freedom to be future, will be future because you've had some really good pum pum that did you wrong. That's all that was. You loved her. The pum pum was amazing, and she did you wrong by your standards. How how hurt are you on a scale from one to ten? Oh no, that's a twelve. <laughs> that's a twelve, bro. For this to continue going on, that's a twelve. That's a twelve. Right now, like <laughs> like future, continue doing oh, that shit. You yeah. saying future? I, yeah, we saying you. you. Oh, I'm saying you. Yeah. Uh, how, how hurt, hurt, yeah, how hurt are you? A twelve? A twelve? Yeah, easily. You were recently hurt. I was. Oh yeah. I was, recent. I was ashamed of some of the actions that I took. Yeah. But the pump was and then, good. And then and you listen to the Future, and you was like, yeah. I don't listen yeah. to Future. I'm a J. Cole. You know I'm a J. Cole fan. So how do you know about Future if you're not tapped in? My friends listen to Future. This <laughs> guy. This guy. Oh, I'm, I'm toxic oh, by got association. You. Oh. <laughs> me too. It's not really me. It's just my friends. <laughs> got you. Yo. So that's why it hurts so much because you listen to J. Cole. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Got it. all makes sense. Yeah, it all makes sense. Yeah. It all makes sense. 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 It all makes But, but, we all got to go through pain as men and that's something that people no, don't talk about enough. heartbreak is a different pain, bro. No, but that's, no, that's what I'm talking it's about. A, that particular a, pain. Go we all have different pain, my We all will experience it and I think, hopefully, that's what makes you, I don't, I don't think future is a scale for me. I ain't going to put him up there, but I do respect, um, his tenacity. That, no, I respect <laughs> that <laughs> idea. I respect that idea that he like, kind of like, you know, it's like a, a barometer to some degree. <laughs> some you dudes look up to him as a role model. Yep. <laughs> I'm, yeah. not a good, I'm not saying it's a good thing so, or a bad thing but yep, so future you, is the standard for a lot of people yeah but I think um, I think uh, you know I would encourage more people to em embrace the pain that they experience through heartbreak or mm -hmm. whatever pain that you go through embrace that because that's you get made on the other side of it like through it facts and you know it's a, it's a process that's the a pain big is fact. a process that's big facts 
Do you feel like a wise man told me you gotta you gotta stay hot and cold at the same time. Facts. (laughs) (laughs) Facts. How the fuck do you do that? That's the that's the battle. That's how you know you win it. You can do it. Yeah, that's the battle. It's, it's you, see, that's how you know you ain't high and cold at the exactly. same time. You You're a act. family man, so it's like it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay that you shit. don't understand. Everything, everything it's perfectly okay. You come full circle, right? I saw I saw uh, a clip of you today. You came here, right? You seen a clip of me today? Yeah. Where? On my Instagram. Oh shit! No, no, oh, we use on the news. You famous, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I Get thought, used to I was that like, shit, oh, that'd be an interesting person to talk to. And now here you go. You said that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. I said to my <laughs> thank, thank, you. thank you, B. Davis. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Appreciate and you. Then, That's, now, it was like, you nigga be like, I was chilling on a Sunday like, oh. <laughs> 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 I'm that nigga to talk to. And I'm that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, good to be that nigga. You know, you know, you walked into a room we wanted. You manifested that shit for real. Yeah. You just sound like every other instant. Instagram girl. Oh man. Oh. oh man. You don't believe in manifestation? I do, but not when the I'm Instagram say, girl say it. <laughs> not when the Instagram uh, Instagram girl say it. Yeah. Nah. See, it just don't mean the same when it's come the out thing, the walls of a bad bitch. The thing is, I think we gotta start giving Instagram girls, and I don't follow none of them really, but we just gotta give them a little bit more respect. I think we just gotta give them more hugs. Well, no. The way what reason why I'm saying it because oh, they they put a, they, if, if, they they. If they if they talk about manifesting, they thinking about something a little bit. Like yeah, they bro, thinking they, B. they Simone, doing some thinking. B Simone was able to sell a book with blank pages all off manifestation, bro. It was blank pages. It was a lot of blank pages in there. You're supposed to write your own destiny. Right. <laughs> wow. But but no, don't do that. Because it, it had to be like a workbook. Yeah, like there's every, a lot of books there. It's, it's a, a workbook, workbook bro. It's a workbook. Don't work, do that. Work. I didn't I never looked at it like that's that. That's hate. That's hate. But there's a lot of people getting and that's off on hard. That. Yeah. Yo, you <laughs> got a book that got it's filled pages. pages. <laughs> if you could just add some more pages. Yeah. That like, yo. You oh, working too like, hard. I'll make the pages for you to write yeah. here. You, you working like, too you, hard, my nigga. I mean, like, but that's a, that's a, that's like, <laughs> that's an a values proposition. Because I just got to write five pages and make you come you, up with the rest. You working way too hard. <laughs> I tell you half the story, the rest you got to Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's up Yo. to you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, Hov told us. Yeah. Hov told us. Hov did that. Yeah. He literally did that. He said it. I mean, y'all not Jay Z fans, are you? I became more of a Jay Z fan as I got older. Me too. Good. That's fine. That's too. good. <laughs> nah, it's good. Nah, it's here. I'm so wis- to, wisdom, wisdom has to set in at some point. It's I'm actually trying to. I'm starting to see the genius more in Jay Z as I actually get older. To be honest with you, I'm still going to think Ether is still the best, one of the best out there. Regardless, you know, that's cool. Saying. Super that's monkey, cool. super is it? Super monkey or super ugly? Which super, super ugly, super ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. super ugly is fire. <laughs> super monkey is a hard one. This nigga just came out with super monkey. It's close <laughs> enough though, right? That's, that's a diss of all diss. That's what I'm right saying. It's close enough. That's all like, I really this know was like that, the, was to get this was like that. The Eminem right that? That's crazy. Whoa. Super ugly, oh, super ugly. That was a good one. Wow. Eminem came on this one. Super monkey. Oh, my God. It was a diss track, my nigga. Oh, man. Who would you think he's dissing with a diss name, Super Monkey? Nick Cannon. You saying if M dropped it? <laughs> if M dropped a song called Super Monkey, who's he dissing? <laughs> Benzino. <laughs> that makes back sense. Then, yeah, that makes sense. That was a better answer. That makes sense. It would have been Benzino back then. That was a better answer. Uh, so that, been, that would have been... We y'all wouldn't even who knew who Eminem was. Yeah, I was gonna say that was Eminem. Yeah, they got canceled back then. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, or nah, yes. nah, they would have stopped Eminem in his track. Or, <laughs> or, <laughs> or, that nigga in his track. or January six would have happened like January six two thousand three or yeah, some shit like yeah, that yeah, two thousand two. Yeah. Yeah, because nah. they interscope records. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, nah, yeah. That would have never. That would have never went well for Eminem. I've been coming across a lot of things saying, mainly from women, and I hear a lot of men saying it as well too, but. They're saying men don't chase women no more. Good. Men we, don't chase we're women. We're not anymore. because when you do, they call it sexual harassment. Facts. So that's the end of that. <laughs> that's, that's, when, that's when they really don't like you. Oh, so really? <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. I mean, when well, you put in yeah. effort, you yeah. show sure you don't like them. No. <laughs> don't do that. You no. can't do that. You gotta end that like. <laughs> Or call the cops on you because I'm trying to get your number. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you, lady? They call it cops on you. Nah, that never means. Oh, no, this, 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 this man sneaks in the front door. 
Huh? I snuck in the front door. I was a teenager. <laughs> shit was crazy back then. I don't let's even, not go into that. Let's yeah. not. That's Yo, not, I that's got the same look on my face. Let's not talk about that. I'm trying to figure it out. I was wild. So I was a kid that was there. Right. <laughs> he says it's wild. We're trying to figure out how that's wild. <laughs> exactly. Just like that. <laughs> hey, guys. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> we a whiskey podcast coming to you. No, but not so, live. Why do edit, you feel like we should edit, chase heavily edit no it. more? So like, so, why do you why? feel like we shouldn't chase women no more? He just, you oh you said we shouldn't. Yeah, why we shouldn't chase mm-hmm. anymore? I just, I just said he said good and I said men don't. So yeah, men that's don't. Don't. we're gonna get, get into All that. All questions go to him. Now. <laughs> <laughs> they can say you're in the chopping block. Yeah. I am not a whistler, but I'm gonna learn tonight, nigga. No, nah, I think that I think the algorithm helps a lot. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think you could see why you shouldn't chase. What are the main? If they find, I feel like if they if they like you, then they like you. you know what I'm girls saying? actually like men. Do yeah, they? yeah, absolutely. Or do they use them. Use them for what? I don't know. Whatever they can get out of it at the moment. Munch. <laughs> yeah, make yeah. munches. Or, yeah. or <laughs> right, let's, 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 if you a munch, let's this. do you feel like a lot? Do you feel like a do lot? You of think it munch just, is a bad thing? Being a munch, like if you was like, this yeah, is a really good was, question, like, and I'm yes. afraid to hear the answer. If a girl yes. was like, yo, yes. yeah, oh, that's just my munch. Would all you right. be like that's a derogatory first term? Of all, would you be like, damn? Be like, I thought oh, it was oh, more would right. Like, first of all, would you be like, if she ever call me a munch, I have to break up with her. Break up with her? I can't do that. Like you, you just disrespecting me. Like so that. you already so in a relationship. Yeah, you with a girl that would call you a munch. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, is it in Why? public? Why? Only in public? Like I'm seeing your true colors. Calling me a fucking munch? I'm seeing your true to colors. To me, uh, ever it's in life, I to thought, anybody, I we were on the same page. Like you're just gonna do this in public. But you know? about she could call you a munch in private. No. Oh, okay. You can't do that because that's more like. To me, a munch is somebody. To me, a munch <laughs> has two definitions. A munch is somebody who eat pum pum and get no pussy. Right. Mm-hmm. And a munch is somebody is just a yes man. Right. Those are my two definitions of a munch. So I think, I, think, I, I, think I, I don't know, but I think Ice Spice would agree with you. Yeah, I think. So, I think so. I think so. I think she would. Yeah. I think she would. So if a woman can comfortably call me a munch <laughs> in front of her friends, she don't respect me. She don't. You gotta leave right I then and there. I think that's what Ice Spice was saying. Yeah, so leave right then and there. I think there's like a bar that says specifically that. Yes, I, I never got past the course. Oh, yeah, I think it's a bar that say that. Like, I feel like when she, I'm starts, gonna call you a bunch of friend of my friends. <laughs> nigga, I don't respect you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. See, like, yeah. after that, I was like, I can't, nigga, I can't show my face in friend. public now. <laughs> I can't show my face in public. Like, your friends gonna look. Oh, that nigga much. I mean, is that the worst thing to yes. be? Yes. Yeah. It is. But yeah, it's, it's, it's the, the new worst. Ver- it's the, the, new, wor- it's the new version but, of being what, called what an I'm, ass eater. But what I'm saying is... Because remember that point? Being an ass eater was like the worst thing Niggas ever. Niggas take pride in that Like, shit. if you're being called yeah, an she, ass eater in public... She could be maybe, calling you a bum, though. That's all I'm saying. That's just as bad. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> but I think... A munch is think, bad. <laughs> I, yeah. A munch is bad, You're not going to call me a cruff in front of your friends, yo. A what? A cruff. A cruff? A a cruff. I've never heard that. A waste man. Yo, yeah. a cruff is the worst thing a Jamaican can ever call you. Word. It's up there with suck your mother, dog. Word. It's up there. I never heard that one. A cruff, cruff is one of the most useless it's, and worthless it, person nothing. ever. Does it go like both ways? Like pause? Like, can I call a girl a cruff? <laughs> yes, everybody's a cruff. <laughs> okay, okay. A cruff is just a useless, okay. no good, irrelevant person. Got you. You serve no purpose. It's gotcha. You're Waste lazy. And you gotcha. serve. Damn. Yeah, that's literally it. <laughs> if somebody call you a cruff, it basically means you wake up and you so, annoy everybody. So, in Jamaica, who's a cruff? Let's see. Like, the Higladim? The what? Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> Very bad patois. It's Mr. Williams. The niggas on the street selling uh, donuts. They cruffs. No. <laughs> so you lower than that. Yes. Actually, you have more. There are actually Respect higher it. standard people. Because I, when I went the last time I went to Jamaica, yeah. I met a man who actually went out in the bushes, picked, cut his own trees, and actually made his own brooms. And went to Santa Cruz, the market, and yeah. sold them. That's 100% so, profit. So, so people see that those guys are hustlers. Yes. Who's a cruff, though? A nigga who wakes up 
And all you want to do is get weed handed to you just to smoke it. And you chill on the block and drink rum and have your head bust out the whole time with red eye and br- in broad daylight. It's a lot of them dudes. That's my point. Yeah, when you walking down the street, it's a lot. Of, everybody got <coughs> They're a, bottle, a bottle of Ray right here. Like, a, like um, bro, it's 12 o'clock call it like, on no, a Wednesday. It's 9 o'clock <laughs> on Monday. Uh, yes! I'm walking to get fruit. How are you so Sweet. free? I'm getting ready to clock in. And that's the same thing, same question you ask on the front lines. How are you so free? <laughs> Like, how? I'm on vacation. How are you so free? Like, <laughs> like on a Wednesday, I'm mad I have so to get through cruff, rush hour. Cruff. But you are just chilling because you're waking up to put your best fit on so just do, to go chill on the does block. A, does a cruff man or woman get, you know, do they ever have, like, a little companion? They got yeah. more cruffs in the world. Yo, cruff sex is great sex, bro. How you know? Because I love cruff pussy. Cause, cause, oh. So girls date cruff men all the time. Welcome to the Weed and Whiskey yo, Podcast. We've all had cruff pussy, this is a he- heavily edited very version. Very all, you just missed that. What he said? We've but- all had cruff pussy, bro. <laughs> we've all had cruff pussy, bro. You've never in your life been with a girl who complained about how she's not gonna get her next meal the next day. Oh shit! <laughs> yo. yo. Whoa. I was wishing she said that yeah, one. I, I might, I might have, have to follow fuck. you with a camera, man. You on the front lines for real, man. <laughs> like, you dealing I'm, with sex workers. Yo, this... Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Did she have a sign? Yeah. <laughs> a cardboard sign? Nah. Before like, she told you? No, nah, like, when you fucked them really, really good. Oh, no, God. don't say no more. <laughs> don't say no more. I'm asking you. I'm begging. Me beg you. You already asked. You already asked. Already asked. <laughs> It's like when you fuck them really, really good, they just feel comfortable enough to open up their struggle to you. Yo. That's Yo, it. what the fuck? <laughs> You're looking to make me seem like I'm the bad guy here. <laughs> she ain't no Everybody way. struggle from time to time. Just because you're struggling don't mean that's your entire day of life. Yo. I hear that. I There's hear moments that. where you're just struggling and you just, you know. No, nah, that's real. Sometimes that's you it. just need your phone bill paid here and there. Yes. Nigga, I but, went to the club one time, dog, and I met a girl, dog, you know the first thing she asked me the next day? If I can send her $50 to pay her phone bill. Did you? She didn't even ask me good morning. She didn't say, no, she said good morning. She didn't even ask me how I was doing. <laughs> it was past due. <laughs> yeah. So you turned the shit on? No. Okay, okay, okay. okay. If her account was past due, my nigga. He sent it. Bro, you want to know I don't fuck he with it? He sent it. No, I did not. He sent it. No, I did not. He didn't send it right away. I did not. He pulled up the account. I tried to text her friend after. Because she tried to, to die. To Because, all right, so right. You was going to be her friend? No, no. This is what happened. Okay, so okay, I went okay, out okay, to the club. Yeah, I was going to say, that's hard. This happened like a year and a half ago. Cole, you was interested too? You heard the story? You know the story. I don't know the story. you hear it? But I went out like a year and a half ago. I was at the club. It was for a friend's birthday. And this guy was, you know, I was like, fuck it. I'm going to just be on my single shit. You know, I had just gotten out of a relationship a couple this months This is the before. one that hurt you. This is after the one that Yeah, that was the one that hurt you. Yeah, so I'm out. You know, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna be on my young nigga shit. So I go up to the bar, I'm like, sure, let me buy you a drink, yada, yada, yada. And drinks are expensive at the club, yeah. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna buy you a drink. So I'm chilling with her. Then she tell me that, oh, I'm gonna give you my number, but um, the person I'm coming with right now, my boyfriend is coming. So you're gonna have to dance with my friend to entertain her while he's here. I'm drunk already. I'm like, you know what? I love good shenanigans. I let's do see remember this story let's, now. Let's nah, see where I it do. goes. I remember this story now. Okay. Let's see all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Familiar. So, <laughs> I'm this turning is so up. Funny. My friend whose birthday, she got the VIP because it's her birthday and we got a free bottle. So, I killed that bottle and I bought more shots. So, I'm lit. So, I'm dancing with the friend trying to make it look like it's, you know, I'm, I'm selling it. I'm selling it. You know, I'm trying to be like, I'm here with the friend. So, I got the friend's number after to really sell it to make it seem like I'm really here for the friend. <clears throat> Next day. Texting her, what up, yo, what's going on? I'm trying to figure out what's going on with your situation. Do you have a boyfriend? Come to find out, she's in a domestic situation. He lives there. I don't know. I just know it's domestic. Like, yeah. Domestic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I did not mean to laugh like that. I didn't laugh. So I didn't mean it, did, it wasn't meant to be a joke, but... <laughs> Cool. You, had to, you had to understand where it was going. Yeah, yeah I get you. I get you. Yeah. Yeah. So the reason why basically is she didn't want to get caught talking to me because it could potentially turn into a domestic situation. <laughs> Damn, she is she stupid? Why would she? Why would she do that though? Call the helpline. So yeah. So I'm like, I bet. So she's to tell me this. She she tells me she needs her phone bill paid. 
I, oh. Now you see why I didn't do it. So you're telling me you're with a man who beats you but can't pay your phone bill. Is this since Munch came out? Mm-hmm. Is yeah. this since the song Munch came out? Like, did Munch come out first? This is actually in 24 hours of meeting her. Less than 24 hours. But of was the song out already? The song Munch? Was no, it already out? Munch was out. Uh, no, yeah, Munch was out. What? Was it? No, no it wasn't out. Well. Munch wasn't out. Okay. Munch wasn't out. So she didn't call you a Munch at any she particular can't. time? I'm not oh. paying her phone bill. That's past due. Especially when I know this Because it's, it's it, I mean, it, there's a thing it, called payment arrangement, bro. <laughs> she. <laughs> so you saw that she was still. Fine for a payment arrangement. She had a card that she could have put it on. And Even if you don't possibly. have a card, this everybody has Cash App. Cash App gives you a card. That's true. And it gives you a bank account you can put direct deposit in. There's no excuse for nothing in the world nowadays. You sure you never got in this game? I never. Listen, the way the way it would be a whole lot different in this motherfucker if I got system. in this game. Sound right? like you beating the system. Sound like you beating Some the way. system. Listen, sometimes if you ain't in this game and put me on, it's, it's not too to beat late the system for me. Then beat your girl. That's all I'm saying. Don't do that. That's the, Never don't, do that. Don't do that. Don't There's do niggas that. that do, yo. Also, what the fuck? How did we get to that? The big the beat the system and beat your girl. What the fuck? No. Listen. <laughs> what well, am I wrong, though? It's not just... It's yeah, not like but that's, a, like a, that's a, a false comparison. Like, you're like... I can give a story the, about a domestic I'm, situation. I'm either going to be consistent or beat my bitch. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, man. That's not a... <laughs> yeah, imagine if the roles reverse and your bitch can just come home and slap you just because she's angry. <laughs> I think a lot of guys go through a lot like that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I think I'm pretty sure it happens a lot like that. I think that's a surprise. <laughs> How Women many men are, are getting abused? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are in abusive relationships and they're not the abusive ones. You'd be yeah. surprised. Yeah. They don't talk about that. Have yeah. you guys ever been in an abusive relationship? No. No? No. no you don't want to talk like, about <laughs> like a All girl right. come home so, and just smack me? Like so. From the male's perspective, no. <laughs> what's your reasoning to stay in an abusive relationship? No, I, you know, I, I'm, I've never been in no abusive relationship. That's just crazy. toxic. It's just like I any other I've toxic relationship. I think I've been in toxic relationships, though. I think never been we in abusive, disguise abuse. women toxicity as abuse. Yeah, it's not. It is abuse, but we disguise it as toxicity. I think men need to suck it up. <laughs> You need, yeah, man. <laughs> you need to suck it up. You need to suck it up, man. But see, that's Take what, that punch. Never mind. Matter of fact, never mind. I'm not even about to do it. That's the feel I can make that joke <laughs> because we're talking about male abuse. <laughs> I think we need to suck it up, man. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I can't hold it in because this, this is a really whiskey podcast. That's the shit that leads to men beating women. <laughs> men sucking it up. <laughs> I think. I think men need to learn how to leave women, yo. And not Facts. look, look at women that, as that, possession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. You know that's what I'm saying? Like, that's that's how we right got there. on this conversation. That's and that's yeah. why I said Dude, good. Dudes be way possessive. Facts. That's why I said good because that is also the downside of chasing women. Like mm-hmm. that whole controlling shit and, and being yeah. possessive and shit. Nah, you say, man. I put all this work into getting you. Yeah, nah, she don't. You shouldn't have to do that to be with somebody. So just leave. Keep it moving. Keep it pushing. And let's be honest with you, bro. Most people aren't if y'all not married, it. yeah, oh. that goes both both yeah, ways. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Most people, not yeah. females, 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 females yeah. like, most yeah, people sure. aren't worth it. I understand if you find somebody and deep in your heart, you know that they're worth it. Yes, apply a little pressure, yeah. put a little effort in. Yeah, make them feel wanted, make them feel like you actually want to go out of the way for them. But there's that boundary and that line. Once you cross it, bitch, now you are much. Facts. Wait, <laughs> she's a much. <laughs> Can that I, be? Can that be? Like, please, thank you. Can that be referred to as women as much? No, but I was wondering, like, what the uh, and maybe some other podcast covered this. I'm not sure, but I've been wondering what what is the male much? What is that? Eater. Eater. Yeah, yeah, eater. Shit, eater. Uh, eater. Yeah, I shit, like eater. Call them janitors. Like, what do male? Yeah, but it, yeah, shit, eater. Shit, eater. Shit, eater. eater. That's a munch. Yeah, shit, eater. The, yeah. It do, but it, it don't even be sounding as bad though because the janitors, bro. We could say we could janitors. I want to hear that real quick. But eater, because like on a rap song, it sound like yep. shit eater. Da, 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 da. Like it, it, it sound like you just shitting on them, but like it it's could be like. You could also be like, man, shit, either. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could also be like... You believe in double standards? No, nobody... Do I believe in them? What is it, like, Santa Claus? Like, yeah. is it a thing? Do you believe... Do you, <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. Do you believe st- double standards should actually be a thing in society? Hmm, that... The clarification adds a lot of context to it. Um, 
I don't know what to think about that. Because I feel like some double standards is okay. And sometimes I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I, I think like some things are different due to some certain pe- person's physical ability. Okay. Right. Like, you know, like basically, if, your girl's stronger than you. Nigga, if your girl is stronger than you, do some. Your girl shows. could be stronger than you. You could be in a in a, in a situation where a lot the woman that you with is she's physically. Yeah, people are in them situation where she's physically stronger than you. She girl. picks you up and puts you on the counter. <clears throat> Yo, what are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, you gotta get your weight up. You gotta get your weight up. I mean, when a woman is stronger than you, that's the inevitable Yo, situation. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why you are you doing this? this? You wasn't ready for this shit. Huh? No. <laughs> Why are you doing this to you? Yeah, yeah. Why are you doing this to you? Exactly. Yeah, you gotta get your weight up. You don't up. want me to chime in. I'm really yeah. good at this stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't... Why do you think I left and work out every day? Because oh, you don't want to get put on the counter? I refuse to. Yeah. Wait, you don't... Um, What you call it? You don't... Um. <laughs> <laughs> you don't eat like, por- hey, porridge yo. every day? Oh, hell yeah. And drink okay. my me- I'm peppermint tea too, dog. What you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I get, I'm trying to get my weight up, nigga. I That's refuse. Crazy. I'm not going to have my legs spread on the counter, bro. I'm not. That's not ever going to happen just because you're skinny, though. But if you're weak, it will happen. It's not, I'm not saying that because I'm skinny. It's because I'm in a weak. she's strong, though. Yeah, you, you could be strong, too. Be you got to be in an abusive relationship for that to happen. Huh? You gotta be in an abusive relationship. Nah. For <laughs> yeah. yeah. so her to throw you on the counter? Nah. Yes. Yes. No. My woman ain't for, for you to be. No. You to, for her to be in a relationship bro. with a woman <laughs> and then be thinking takes, like, yo, she I feel weak. She might. She she might. All it takes. <laughs> at any moment. <laughs> all it takes. <laughs> for her to be able to think that she's gonna be like, I'm gonna throw you on the counter. All it takes is for her to All it takes is for her to know she can do it. If she knows she can do it, she's gonna take advantage of the opportunity. Name one girl who don't take advantage of opportunity just because she knows she can take advantage of the opportunity. That's just woman. Do you I, like big girls? I sure yep. do. Yeah, so that's your problem. You <laughs> no, you it's, not, it's lower, not a problem if I'm working out. out. This is a, it's a worry It's not a you. problem if I'm getting my weight up, bro. But it don't matter if you're working out. If she's strong, she can still lift you up. But I might be you strong like, enough to be like, no, I'm going to move her hands. Okay. I've never had okay, a conversation so you're gonna, like this. You're going to wrestle. You're right, going to touch this. If I have to, if I have to, this is crazy, this real shit. I love it. You gonna throw in a reversal. If I have to put in a full Nelson, if I have yeah, to put yeah, in her place, yeah, nah, no, no, like, I bet you over. Don't yeah, stop that. Be- no, well, yeah, niggas nowadays is different. It's 2023, bro. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> yeah, <what> you <laughs> over. Wow, for your woman to even think that she could do that to you, I have to set this tone right. She hit you before. She hit you before. <laughs> Yo. Ain't got away with it. Yeah, bro. And you apologize, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, call the helpline. <laughs> this don't have to k- continue. <laughs> and this, yo, this is why this, why she written space in your head a year and a half later because she was big and slapping you around. Yo, you yo, gotta chill out. We was just watching Clarissa's shows. Oh shit, <laughs> we was just watching Clarissa's shows. Yo, she oh did this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was just watching. That. Yo, she sunned you. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, she's an undefeated female boxer. So in MMA, she would throw, definitely throw you on the counter. Yeah. And See, MMA nah, fighters. Why, you don't, you don't date, why would you date a woman Listen, like that? You the know, what's the point? I feel like one of the most athletic women I would actually date, but in, be Serena? intimidated by. Not even. Not even. Who's that? Simone Biles. Oh, wow. <laughs> right? I'm Simone not, Biles. <laughs> bro. <laughs> not touching that. Bro. <laughs> Bro, the whole box got some big shoulders. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> she a fucking nigga. Up. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> but I, but listen, that's an experience. Thank, yo, listen, she does wonderful things. She does wonderful well, things. you know what? And let's celebrate her as a person. Hey, yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> just, just don't get her too excited. <laughs> yo, so what was it like? Elaborate, like being in an abusive relationship. It was fun. Best time of my life. I recommend it to anybody. You never know when you get punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the pain that you grew from. <laughs> it makes you a stronger man. <laughs> I don't know, but this is what some call the villain origin story. Right. Right, yeah. that's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. I haven't murdered anybody yet. Yeah, no, so. this is, this is doing great. 
I'm a completely Chill rehabilitated down. man. <laughs> You know? Yeah, no, like, breakups is hard, bro, bro. Like, all that stuff. To breakups be honest with you, breakups is tough. Yeah. It's one of the hardest things to go, especially as a grown man. Yeah, no, facts. And I, that's how I, I, you know, that's why I think us as men really need to embrace that. I got a question. Yeah. For every single man in this room. Well, because we're all in this room. Right. What is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done after a breakup? Most embarrassing Text thing mom. ever done I can tell you what I did. <laughs> Text their I, mom. <laughs> oh damn! I ain't never gonna have to text their mom. Yeah. Damn. I did. I did that too. And I don't, I'm not embarrassed by it. Go ahead. What's no, the next I, one? I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, wrote, <laughs> I don't remember either. <laughs> but no, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. That's the only really, reason why it's embarrassing. I just don't remember sucks. it. It Wait. could just be bad or not that bad. <laughs> Like you could have. It can't tried be good. Holla at her mom. Nah, oh, okay. I think I just texted. Like I said, I don't know. I don't remember it. Stupid like bro. It could be bad or Me? not that bad, but it's not good. Uh, I was I was really fucked up, and I wrote a bunch of shit on some notes and threw it outside her door. And what? she called. And she called me the next day. It was like, why the fuck did you do all that? I was very embarrassed. She broke up with you. Uh, yeah. Situation. That's not so bad though. No, I, and you, you got was, her attention. No, nah, it didn't work. It didn't do nothing. It just yeah, made, it didn't help it you just get her made, back. It, <laughs> but, <laughs> not, it, it, <laughs> but but like it got her attention. Yeah, you got you got a, you got a little conversation result. and shit oh, like the that. No, the conversation was terrible. <laughs> but oh, it was bad. it was closure. No, no, open up a new wound. <laughs> open up a new wound. <laughs> That's what but that that's what these I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't mean for it to go on her door. I just threw it out the window by her house, and it actually the wind <laughs> blew it on her door, and she found it the next day. And I was really heartbroken by that. Wow. Somebody told me, uh, well, I saw it somewhere to write a letter about how you feel and dispose of it in near the place. And it had been to go by her door, so it kind of fucked me up. I was like, oh, damn, you wasn't supposed to find that. Yo. Oh, she was meant to find that. Y'all both said two stories that I've never heard before. <laughs> like, the niggas, I didn't talk to lots of people in my life. These it type was, of conversations. It was not supposed group to Group of dudes. I've never heard these two subjects come up. What'd you like, say you do? What, what happened with you? Get hit by a woman oh. and call the munch. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like, I have standards as a man. Which ones? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and when do they go out the window? <laughs> yeah. It depends on the situation. Yo, so. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Smoke. This is getting crazy. So, so. So what's your, what's your heartbreak story? What's your embarrassing heartbreak story? My embarrassing heartbreak story. Yeah. Um. Ooh, he never got his heart broken that bad before. No, I definitely the I didn't fuck have, out of me. No, no, I didn't have my heart. Oh, it's just too many of them broken. to think of. I'm, no, I'm trying to think of like I'm trying to put it into words. Like uh, it was that bad. Uh, it could have been left you speechless. No, nah, cause I I'm older, nigga. Like I'm 42, so I done had a lot of a lot of heartbreak, nigga. Like like it, so it's you don't look like you're 42. I get that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. No, you talk well, like you're 42, though. Well, you speak like you're 42. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You speak like, like you're 42. That. I like that. <laughs> this nigga yeah. be coming at me. He be coming sure. at me. Yeah. I was wondering. I was like, why? <laughs> I thought, why this young nigga so smart, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why this young nigga so smart? Yeah, trust me. You've been protecting your age this whole time through every sentence you speak. Did he? <laughs> Damn. He's trying, he said, Joe, you wasn't trying to let the old head leak out. Nah, he like, yo, bro, you, you called me a munch on ear, so. He thought it's just because he put his hat this, backwards, he I, looked yeah. younger. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> He said, yeah. he said, I do this podcast shit, nigga. Listen, listen. I know you do your little, little director shit on camera and stuff like that. On air, you think you know what on air is now? I'm going to show you what on air is. You don't throw shots yeah, You me. behind the cameras, nigga. Ain't no munch, nigga. Yeah, I got to make fun of people because I'm not going to make fun of me and think they'll get away with it. Facts. That's all I'm going to say. Facts. But we, we're, uh, but the, no, so far as um, a heartbreak story, like, and like, Embarrassing, embarrassing heartbreak story. I'm trying to think about some of the dumb shit I done did. Yeah, you 42 got to be a lot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the one that's like. Give me, I right, give me the one where you was the crying straight ahead, right? Mm -hmm. Give me the one where your where your nose was running when you was crying. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> give me that one. I want to hear that one. I want to hear that one. 
Lee Davis trying to get about these stories. Oh, quick. Shit. <laughs> you trying to answer no more questions. Quickly. Um, I don't know if that ever happened. I know I definitely cried. I ain't gonna lie about that. But I hope we all have. Yeah, heartbreak yeah. story. I got some heartbreak stories. I just can't think of like, I don't know what for some reasons like it's black that I can't. All right, so now Nella so, one, but I definitely did. Yeah. All right, you got one that you ain't want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Dutchie you Angela. <laughs> so, but you I, now knowing your age, right? Mm -hmm. Not, not. It's, I need. I now got to get some wisdom. What is one thing that you carried that you learned from uh, about women? Every woman is different. Every woman is different, and I, I think like sometimes we try to overcompensate from, or we try to compensate for our past. Flaws in a relationship From relationship to relationship And you're trying to do something For the last person You know what I'm saying You was with that woman You're like Oh she thought this wasn't right Or it didn't work this way Between y'all So you're trying to Fill in the blanks over here mm -hmm. But like The important part About relationship Is you being the best You you could be In my opinion I'm not good at relationships So I ain't married or nothing like that That's why yeah. I'm a 42 year old <laughs> With fucking Supreme on 42 shit like that. and up there <laughs> <laughs> we see why he's striving to be so successful. <laughs> it ain't yeah, working in love. Uh, <laughs> no, but I, nah, I, but nah, I've you're doing some, it. Though. I've had some incredible relationships, dog. Why you know didn't last? Like, Were you the I problem? Think, uh, many times, many times. I, and it, it wasn't necessarily cheating or anything like that. Like the, like the deep relationships that I've been in. I think every time each challenge was a different challenge. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, I definitely understand that because honestly. The the and, woman that I was talking about who broke my heart, to be honest with you, bro, that was my first adult relationship. Mm -hmm. So everything, every way that I fucked up, I'm actually not mad at myself. Right. I'm not because I didn't know how to handle any of that as an adult. A exactly. Right. So it's right. like I feel like, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm actually proud of myself in a sense because it could have been worse. Yeah. I could have went lower. I could have said and other shit. You found yourself. Getting close to lower, but like, nah, I'm dealing yeah. with this. Like, it's like this is not good. Like, it's a, it's a movie. I can't remember the name of it, but it was Jamie Fox and Morris Chestnut, and the dude was in the house. I seen this before I ever had like a real bad breakup. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, eh, people don't be like that. Just in the house, kicking yeah. out of the bed and all nah. that shit. Nah, that shit but real. Then, is it real? You gotta experience it. You and gotta then, work. And then, that and then, shit and then if you experience it, you gotta think what she might go through. Mm -hmm. Right? Because we don't think about that. Oh, you know, but you know what makes it worse is when she's having fun. Nah, she's not really having fun though. Nah, she's no, having, she having fun. Nah, she having fun. Listen, she having fun for listen, real. Listen, were you the person? <laughs> she having fun for were you, real. Were you the person that do the, doing the breaking up? Because <laughs> yeah. have you been the person that's yeah. adult yet so You're far right. that did the breaking up? I don't. I, Honestly, to keep it above, bro, I don't really... Unless you're oh. really bad for me... Yeah, you don't really break don't up. Break it's just up like it. fade out. Yeah, like for me, you have to leave me or I'm going to try to find... I'm a, be, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a solution finder. I be doing the breaking up. <laughs> I've been doing the breaking up for a while. So yeah. I've been I'm practicing I be that doing, shit from high school. And I be like... It be like the what you call it, like... See, this is this this is the shit that's really gonna show my age. It should be like an Usher video, I'm like you don't got to come. <laughs> the same night, I be partying, nigga. Like, so, uh, but on the other side of it, that's how you know when she do the breaking up. They in AC or Vegas or wherever, yeah. whatever, whatever's her, whatever's her twist, whatever like is in her reach. She's, it she's, might be yeah. down at Mohegan Sun or whatever. Like they out having a good time. Yeah. It's Galentine. You know, <laughs> you, know mm -hmm. you know when a woman is really over a breakup because they really start having fun. She changed her hair. Yeah, they start yeah. changing their hair. They start acting. You know what I mean? They're going out more with their friends. They start partying. They posting more. Yeah, nah, you, post know what's bad? More. you know what's bad? When they go out with friends they never hung out with while y'all was together. If she posted a twerk video, right. it's You over. never knew she had that friend. Exactly. All of a sudden, yeah. my friend. <clears throat> Why are so close? Why are so close? Yeah. yeah, you know I me. Mean? I always hung out with like them. Like, she got a picture of you them. naked, too? Like, that's how close y'all are? You know when a girl is close Hold to Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Then I, here you go again. I just shook my head to this shit. <laughs> I'm glad you yeah. had to start <laughs> engaging with this nigga. Because <laughs> he, yo, he was tricking you some shit. Like, yeah. I got pictures of each other. What else y'all did? <laughs> 
what? <laughs> Which is true though. They, exactly. like, <laughs> <laughs> I would give you not a breakup story that like that, but kind of like a funny story, like a a a, a woman that like is a great friend or whatever. Oh man, I'm not no dick pic nigga, so <laughs> you know. I, I, ain't, bro, I, feel you. I, I ain't really on that type of time. At 42, not, I doubt it. <laughs> nigga, I ain't always been 42. I just turned 42. But you're not coming shit. from the age of dick pic, though. No, phone's <laughs> been out for a while, bro. But niggas weren't sending dick pics at that generation. Facts. I'm not a dick pic nigga. <laughs> yeah, but you're it's, not a dick pic generation, bro. I'm the dick pic generation. Yes. <laughs> so now you're telling me too much. But we'll get into that. I, I, no, we're not going to get into that. If you choose to, I'm not, not hating. <laughs> you know, if that's what you want to talk about. Oh, that was a proud moment in my life, nigga. That was the era when you. All right, let me finish my <laughs> story, bro. <laughs> Fuck, yo. I'm a guest. I know no, you're, you're not. We are We don't do guests. They, 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 they like edge around our shit. <laughs> They chop around that shit. Yo, you're a co-host. <laughs> so that you can yeah, hang yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, anyway, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. You so, uh... I ain't tell you to say nothing. She... Yeah, right. <laughs> so, so this this friend of mine, really good friend, uh, uh, she, uh... She requested it. Like, she sent me some pictures and whatever. And then she was like, yo, send me a picture. I was like, I ain't sending you a picture. Just send me a picture. <laughs> I sent yeah, the got picture. got awkward and uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do I pose for it? <laughs> no, I know what to do, nigga. Like, <laughs> I know what to do. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> I know what to do. So, I take the picture, send the picture. All right, that's that. That was just that. That was it. Take the picture, send the picture. That was it. Sounds like you didn't do a good job. Was she satisfied? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, right? <laughs> so, at the time, well, this might be giving away too much, so I'm not going to say that part, but at the time, we were in close proximity to each other, and the place where she was at, um, they were having like a little get-together, a women's get-together. So, I walk into the women's get-together, and a friend, my, 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 my homeboy wife was like, Ooh! I was like, yo, what's up? <laughs> she was like, um The whole room saw that dick pic. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so, you got fucking showcased and exhibited. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and I'm not I'm not I mean it was something for me to be proud of because it was a piece of meat. Yeah, I, but then that's how I felt. I felt so, but then it was one of them lessons to teach you how you, they be feeling. How they be feeling, bro? Because I was yeah, like, yo, yeah, yeah. why would you do that? <laughs> I'm so I brought, I brought, yeah, I brought her in the back, like, yo, what are they talking about? And I like, think you have some privacy. Yeah, <laughs> yo, listen, they gave me high fives, yo. Like, I'm, it's a room full of women. They're like, yeah. I'm like, yo, what the f? Imagine if they weren't, and please. <laughs> They wouldn't have said that. They were looking they like, mm. you sure? Mm. You yeah, sure? They, they mm. might have said something. Like, mm. <laughs> 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 the, the, mm. That's the <laughs> volumes. Mm. Hey. So I was glad that it was a celebration, but that was a, that was a funny little story. All right. You don't want to tell your dick pic banning stories. You don't want to tell I'm that. I'm proud of my dick pics. Banning? Uh, Banning? It was a problem? You said it was a problem. I, I put Ben in. I don't mean No, nah, I don't I don't send unwanted dick pics. It has to be requested. Oh. Like I'm one of them people. So I don't believe in serving community dick. <laughs> I don't believe in that in any way, shape, or form. Like community dick is useless dick. That means anybody can get access to it. So I can't serve it as value in any way, shape, or form. So I can't go to a bitch. I'm like, yeah, I got top tosh dick and know her t- her best friend and her best friend and her best friend already had it. That's not rare dick, so I like to bring rare dick to the table. So I like to bring dick that their friends never had. So when I send dick pics. You definitely never listen to future. I don't. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah. My dick pic has it's like circles value. of baddies, though. Yeah. I'm not saying like, you know, you How you supposed to get recommendations? Them, but... mm-hmm. How are you supposed to get recommendations? Once I get the pump them. No, I'm saying that like. Based on what. All right, you okay. gotta give me the pump for me to recommend anything about this dick. But then it's I'm not talking about from them when they talk about you. you. Yeah, they don't need to. All right. 
I don't. What yeah. you gonna what you gonna blab around my dick to your friends? For yes. what? I'm not fucking them. Yes. They're not giving I, me no pussy. I'm gonna be but honest they with you could, that's, though. It's a but very... they're not, though. Okay. All right. And to be honest with you, fucking friends is complicated unless it's out of spite. Complicated for who? Me. Okay. I don't mind ruining friendships, but <laughs> what you got to see them in the room terrible. at the same it's time? It's not even that true. <clears throat> don't got to ruin the friendship. It's going to ruin the friendship. Don't got to. It ha- it's going to, bro. Once you fuck them both good, it's going to be a problem. You've experienced this before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This man, I was this a toxic teenager. Here. I was a toxic. Now teenager. you're making me think about something now, right? I was a toxic teenager. Now I'm you're serious, making me yo. think about something. I've had best friends, and I ruined best friend, my best friendship, just cause I had my heart broken, so I wanted to be petty. But that's different. That's completely different. We saying like when he said there's like certain groups of baddies. This is more like not your girlfriend. You know, no, no, but even still, you, then, nah, I still want I my, I still want to have rarity in that. But you keep jumping at relationships, yeah, right away. Is that what you're looking for? Yes. 